The county of San Diego is looking to hit a home run as it teams up with the Padres in an effort to get more people vaccinated against COVID. But there is a catch. News 8's Allison Royal has more on the Grand Slam prizes available to fans. Hey, good evening. So a lot of people are still thinking about getting vaccinated for COVID-19, right? And that includes the people here in this line at Petco Park. That's because some Padres Angels tickets might sweeten the deal if you're thinking about getting the shot. I drove out of my way to get here for the tickets. San Diego County and the Padres are giving out some big ticket items at Petco Park on Tuesday. To the first 150 people who come to get vaccinated, each person will get two tickets to the Angels Padres game on September 8th. The baseball bargain was enough to convince Francisco. The 25 year old works at Kaiser Permanente, which is now requiring employees to go get vaccinated. When I had the choice before if I wanted to and I chose not to, um, just not really a, mainly a good personal reason. I just didn't really want to. Um, but now that it was FDA approved also, I mean, I guess there's, it's good to go and the incentives, of course. And Mario, who made a point to wait things out before getting the shot. Everywhere you go, work, or you know, if you want to go to Disneyland, stuff like that, there, there are a lot of places that are kind of like forcing you to get it. So I think it's just time. Everyone also has a shot at scoring this Padres t-shirt to show their hometown hero pride. San Diego is incredibly grateful to the Padres. Time and again, they have stepped up to, uh, to help our community. And in San Diego, we love the Padres. And if you miss Tuesday's event, Francisco has an extra ticket. Uh, yeah. Is anybody watching wants to go to an Angels Padres game next month with Francisco? No. Let me know. Yeah, no, I'm single. So yeah, go ahead. And today people had a choice. They could decide whether they wanted to get the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, Moderna or Pfizer. I'm Allison Royal for News 8.